Thank you. Going live. Going live. We waited a minute. I, don't, I thought maybe she was going to call. I wasn't 100% sure. So. Okay. It is 4.01 p.m. on Tuesday, May 23rd, 2023. This is the Columbia City Board of Works and Safety meeting. We'll call it to order. Here in a moment. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, roll call, please. Daniel. Here. Penrod. Here. Crowder. Here. In front of you are the minutes from the last meeting on May 9th. Were there any changes or corrections? I have none. I do not. Hearing none, uh, I'll make a motion we approve the minutes as presented. Second. Motion seconded. <laughs> Nicole graciously gives it over to Walt. Further discussion? All those in favor should be the usual sign. It is unanimous. Next up, we're going to go to street cap permits. Before we go to that list, I'm going to go to the ones that are in your drop box. Um, so there is a Browning Street first, 702 Browning Street. Uh, many of these, I think most of these, are for Bright Speed. Fiber, uh, so Bright Speed is installing fiber in multiple locations around the city. Uh, so we, I think Sean got a stack of pole attachments that was about this big. So so he's been going through those. Uh, but so obviously some of these are permits cut in curb streets and rallies. So this first one is for 702. It says Browning, but I believe it means Browning Street. Any questions about this from department heads? Okay. Any questions from the board? Okay, I'll make a motion we approve the permit to come to curb streets or alleys for 702 Browning Street as presented. Second. Motion seconded. Further discussion? All those in favor show the usual sign. It is unanimous. I'm sorry, this was not in the packet. Oh, in the this is in so it's Browning. So now we're going to go to, yeah. so now we'll go to 704 South Line Street. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Um, any issues with 704 South Line Street, also for bright speed? Okay. Hearing none, I'll make a motion we approve the permit to cut into curb streets or alleys for 704 South Line Street as presented. Second. Motion seconded. Further discussion? All those favor for the usual sign. It is unanimous. Next, we'll go to 714 Countryside Drive. Um, yes. It, it says project start date is to be determined. It's going to be that open. That's a great question. They have not informed me of any survey yet. All of, yeah, all of these say to be determined. I think yeah. a part of that is is they're also working to get the approval from Sean and the electric department for those uh, pull attachments as well. Okay. So um, I think it's a 90-day look. Or we can 45 at the point of the got 45 days from approval. From approval. Mm -hmm. right. Yep. Thank, thank you for clarification. Yep. Questions on 714 Countryside Drive? Okay. Hearing none, uh, I'll make a motion we approve the permit to cut into curved streets or alleys for 714 Countryside Drive as presented. Second. Motion seconded. Further discussion? All those in favor for the usual sign, it is unanimous. Next up is 736 South Columbia Parkway. Any questions regarding this one? Okay. Um, I will say, just as a side note, and I've noticed with all of these, but we usually have some kind of a map that shows what where the I so on that. Yeah. I printed out a stack of maps about that high. Yeah. I did not want to bring them. Okay. So they gave everywhere, they gave every pull attachments to Sean and then varied locations to me. Gotcha. Okay. So okay. I had the maps. So you've reviewed but, these maps, is what, yes. what I hear you say. Okay. And actually, all they're doing is core drilling a six inch hole to put their back in so they're not actually cutting like a square or anything. Sure. So, yeah. Okay. Questions on 736 South Columbia Parkway? I'll make a motion we approve set the permit to cut into curb streets or alleys for 736 South Columbia Parkway as presented. Second. Motion seconded. Further discussion? 
All those in favor shall believe will sign. It is unanimous. Now we'll get back to the actual agenda. So the first one I have is 920 Camden Drive. This is for gas service by NIFSCO, I believe. Questions about these from department heads or from the board? Okay, I will accept the motion. I'll make a motion we approve the permit to cut into curb streets and alleys located at 920 Camden Drive as presented. A second. Motion is seconded. Further discussion? I will favor for the usual sign. It is unanimous. Next up is 376 North Sweetbriar Court. This is also for NIPSCO. Any issues? I'll make a motion we approve, or approve the permit to cut into curb street <coughs> alleys at 376 North Sweetbriar Court as presented. Second. Motion seconded. Further discussion? All those in favor should be the usual sign. It is unanimous. Next up is 209 West Longfellow Boulevard. This also is for NIPSCO, do home service. Any issues? No. no. Okay. Make a motion we uh, accept the request for the permit of 209 West Longfellow for NIPSCO installation of uh, gas line. Second. Motion seconded for the discussion. All those in favor for the usual sign. It is unanimous. Next up is 209 North Indian River Cove. This is also installation of a new gas line to the home, to a new home. Issues from anybody in the room? Okay. Hearing none, I'll make a motion. We approve the permit to cut into curb streets or alleys for 209 North Indian River Cove as presented. Second. Motion seconded. Further discussion? Although the parish of the usual sign, it is unanimous. Next up is 851 Dogwood Drive. This is for installation of a new gas service to a new home by NIPSCO. Concerns or questions from anybody in the room? Okay. I'll make a motion. We accept the permit to cut into curb streets or alleys located at 851 Dogwood Drive as presented. Second. Motion seconded. Further discussion? All those in favor should be the usual sign. It is unanimous. I think we was are done. Was those, those ones that I signed up there, was that the first list the mayor read? Or was that separate? That's all of them. They were the ones in the very back. So I said it was So if we went through them? Yeah. Because one of those I thought said they were going to cut in the street. That was a bluebird. Okay. Yeah. We didn't do a bluebird. Right. Well, it's a country Is that I'd say they will not be cutting into the street. Right. right. One of those, I see. Um, I'd say all of them that I that we just went through said not cutting in. Um, let me look at the light, latest list, I guess. But. First list 920 is the bell hole in a trench through the right of way. 376 easement. 209 easement boring. 209 bell hole. And then trench to the home. 851 doesn't say. <laughs> well, if it comes up. We'll, we'll let you wrestle them. How about that? Put on pay-per-view or something. Okay. 
Um, next up is the pay request number one from Everest Excavating and Mike Cook. You're up. Uh, after review on this, uh, I missed an item. Rosie found it and uh, we had everything clarified and it is in the port amount. This would be my recommendation that the uh, board approve the request number one from uh, Everest Excavating for 48972 it was just a typographical, I believe. Gotcha. Transpose numbers. And there's uh, 197,000 and change left uh, on the contract, it appears. I'm assuming that the majority of that will come after the concrete is finished and checked and all that kind of stuff? They pulled the forms and okay. I actually just took pictures of it okay. this afternoon and uh, yes, it looks fantastic. The job they've done for the That's great. That's great. That read for that, that no call. I'm sorry. There's even a spot that I can tell that they put a little patch on it and smooth it out. And uh, so it must not have been perfect enough, but uh, they've already taken care of that today. Good. So. And that read for was not at our cost, correct? Right. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Questions about uh, pay application number one with Everest S excavating? No questions. I'm I make a motion that we pay pay application number one for the wastewater treatment plant CSO 19 improvement project uh, with Everest Excavating LLC for a total of $48,972.50 as presented. Second. Motion seconded. Further discussion? Although in favor should be the usual sign, it is unanimous. Next up is a change order. Also, going to Mike Cook. Uh, this is from Donna Ewan Associates. This is for Construction Administration, uh, where the main Jefferson Street uh, discovers change orders, work directives, smittles, RFIs, RPR and pay apps, record drawing progress meets, things like that. Uh, there's a list of full things on this. It's in there. I won't go through all of them. Uh, so, it, what it is, it's uh, an amendment to uh, the first. Or basically, it's amended to the uh, first agreement for an increase of uh, sixty-four thousand four hundred dollars for uh, those twelve items. And that's a uh, also includes walkthrough and our record drawings uh, for the project. At some point. And, and remind me, Mike, because my memory is not serving me well today. Um, the construction inspection will be done by. ERI, right? Yes. And is that included in this contract or separate from that contract? This, contract? this is separate from the contract. The ERI is doing the inspection. Uh -huh. But any, the, the inspector, they will go take the information from the inspector. And when they put the pay apps together, they'll reference what he has and what he says. And then they'll put that together. And then it comes to me. And then it comes to me. Okay. So uh, have we signed an additional contract with them? ERI? Yes. Yes. Okay, we did. Did we do that last meeting or two meetings ago, maybe? Yes. No, okay. Care of. Okay, I thought so, but it wasn't computing. So, so this is effectively just a way. This is just an extension of our or an amendment to our contract with Donahue that they will they will continue the administration of the project, but not the actual inspection. Correct. Okay. Yes. That and sense? that exactly what you said there is stated under Part C or Part One C of uh, there. It's a Inspection services are provided by someone else. Yes. Yep. Questions? No. Okay, I'll make a motion. We approve amendment number two to the engineering services agreement for the Jefferson and Main Street Force Main project. I'm sorry, replacement project uh, with Donahue and Associates Inc. in a. Uh, I guess increase amount of sixty-four thousand four hundred. Right. Okay. Question there. Yes. You mentioned part change order two. Yeah. Compensation for the services set forth in part one and amendment number one. But see, I have part one. It says but it says amendment number two. Okay. Is this amendment number one or two? This is two. Okay. So the part at the very. Yeah, but the part at the bottom. Yep. Sure. Number number one was for the extra work that they did when they started running numbers and found out the hydraulics and the current yes. pumps that we have would not work. So that was the engineering part and running hydraulics numbers and coming up with the 
system that will work with us will be quite mean. That was the yep. first amendment, and then this is the second one that you can finish out basically to. Gotcha. So this is saying it includes this plus what's in uh, plus amendment number one, which we've already approved. Correct. And then the original for the total of the 178,400. Yes. So that's a total. Yeah. Essentially, that's the total of all three. If you want to look at that. All three. So the original. Yes. The oh, amendment, amendment one and, and amendment, amendment two. And, and yeah. then this last one. So that's a total of, of everything. Okay. It, yeah, it does. Uh, it just it, it's, Yes. Uh, and I understand what you're saying. It just, when I read that, it looked like we had maybe a discrepancy in the amendment. Mm hmm. I agree. As far as some of the bids on when we originally started this, uh, we're actually still, we were over our highest bid, but I think we're still saving money because that paper company didn't put this in their bid. So, yeah. when they were yeah. so yeah. I think we're still, still fine. Okay, so I made a motion. Can I get a second? Second. Thank you. Motion second. Turn the discussion. All those papers are by the usual sign. It is unanimous. Okay, um, next up, well, actually, before we do that, in your Dropbox, there is an agreement, there's a couple agreements we need to go through. One is Bluffs of Cider Mill, T-I-O-S agreement. This is with a and Engineering. Yep. Okay, so, um, as we have worked with uh, the... Uh, planners and the developers of uh, Bluffs of Cider Mill, which is the new subdivision that it will be built off of 200. Um, it, the planning, the planning and building department, as well as the, some of the residents, wanted to really kind of get a good grasp of what kind of traffic flow is going to be happening on that street, as well as what's going to be going out to nine from 200 to Whitman to Cider Mill to nine as well as what's going to be going out 200 to 205. Um, so, the, uh, so we worked with our the individuals that we typically work with, our traffic kind of engineers, and that's A&Z Engineering. We've asked them to put together a uh, traffic impact and operations study. Um, and it started off just kind of being a traffic study, and then we went over to NDOT and told them about what was going to be happening, what was going to be built there. And uh, they asked for it to be an operational study as well so that they can look at that 205 and 200 intersection, which is, uh, I'll try to keep my commentary short. Basically, it's something where um, we had went to them before Quail Ridge was being built. And after Quail Ridge was being built, and they said everything's fine, there's not enough traffic to justify anything big. And then at this meeting, they kind of said, well, if we would have been approached earlier, then we would have done something about it, which is not so Anyway, the point is, is that we are trying to work with NDOT, so they are fully aware of what is happening down there and what kind of additional traffic that intersection will take, because we all know that between Quail Ridge and Eagle Glen and then this new subdivision, there's a lot of traffic coming out of 200 onto 205 and 205 going up into 200. So, anyways, we have... We have incorporated their request into this. So again, this is a traffic impact uh, and operations study. Uh, and the um, total amount for this is 14,500 for the kind of, um, for the actual traffic counting that's gonna be happening through there, the impact analysis of both the subdivision as well as what, how it's gonna hit in different locations. Um, so this is what they've kind of done. Looks like we're about, generally 65 days from the meeting so give or take we're probably what three months maybe out from the yeah. finalization of that study give or take so again nothing really dramatic but i thought and eh, we'll just go ahead and bring it to the board of works rather than me just sign off on it so um again it's something we need to do and frankly it'll be good for our planning efforts to what 200 what can need to happen on 200 um, and also give me something to go to the county and talk to them about kind of what's happening now versus what will happen in the future and trying to figure out partnerships there. So, so yeah. initially, but still working on carrying carry the contract ourselves to initiate this request. So effectively, yeah, this is what, what I think we kind of chatted about and talked about internally was that 
this is really for what they're bringing to the community. Um, 300 and some homes in the long run that uh, between this and bringing some utilities to the actual site, not inside, but to the site, this is kind of a small price for us to pay to get this growth to happen. Right. Um, but also, it ends up being beneficial for us because we know, you know, as things normally do, if you have a community that starts, you know, you have a neighborhood that starts growing, things grow up around it, and we want to make sure that that road can handle the kind of traffic that this subdivision is going to bring, not to mention whatever future development will bring. Well, it definitely impacts all of so, if you're okay with it, um, I will. I'll make a motion that we approve the uh, agreement between A and Z Engineering and the City of Columbia City for a traffic impact and operation study in a not to exceed amount of fourteen thousand five hundred. Second. Motion second. Further discussion. I'll compare it to the usual sign. It is unanimous. Thank you. Next up is uh, we have Justin Cornate. Oh, wait. I guess I can go on the bills. Right. Okay. Okay. So I apologize. Let's go back to the original agenda here. August 22nd, meeting change. So uh, on August 22nd, uh, that date is in conflict with our annual AIM Idea Summit. That is the annual uh, Cities and Towns Conference that will be happening that week. Uh, my proposal, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but my proposal is to move that to the 29th of August. Uh, that is one week later, so we would still meet on the uh, 8th, but then we would move our second meeting of the month to the 29th to avoid conflict with that um, with that conference. Any issue with that? No issue. Okay, so we will move the uh, we will officially move the August 22nd meeting to August 29th. Now, it's my pleasure to turn the meeting over to my this distinguished one friend, one and only. Nicole Penrod. <laughs> and I will make a motion to pay all accounts payable from the allowance of accounts payable vouchers dated May 23rd, 2023, in the amount of $940,000. I'm sorry, $940,000. Second, motion seconded for the discussion. All those in favor should be the usual sign. It is unanimous. Then I'll make a motion to pay all accounts payable from the allowance of accounts payable vouchers dated May 23, 2023, in the amount of $169,480.49, and that would be EFT payments. Second. Motion seconded for the discussion. All those in favor should be the usual sign. It is unanimous. I'll make a motion to pay all pay types except overtime in the amount of $1,336 for the city share of the HSA contributions for Justin Cornejo mm -hmm. from the pay file in the entire 23 Second, motion seconded for the discussion. All in favor should be equal sign. It's unanimous. Did you get the one before then? The payroll? All the payments? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, I'll make a motion to pay all pay types except overtime in the amount of $260,087.51 plus overtime in the amount of $10,323.05 from the pay file ending 5523. Second. Motion seconded. Further discussion. I'll be there should be a usual sign. It is unanimous. I think you did. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Keep me in line. Uh, up, up next, we have a street closing permit for the Memorial Day Parade, which, as you are well aware, happens typically on the Monday, which is Memorial Day, uh, May 29th. It is uh, it's typical time from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. That starts at the... Uh, Marshall building basically and turns on to Van Buren, goes Van Buren all the way down to Madison, turns south on Madison and heads to the cemetery. Um, um, 
No, he didn't, but I thought it was. Kelly, you get with the Memorial Day parade? Yeah, we took it from the back of the bigger cage or something. I think the police usually do that. I think that, well, there was, the only reason I asked that is there was a note on here about checking on the plug. Yeah. Okay, I think it's good. Any questions regarding the Memorial Day parade? Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the street closing permit request for the Memorial Day parade on Monday, May 29th by the American Legion as presented. Second. Motion seconded. Further discussion? All those in favor should have the usual sign. It is unanimous. Anything else? Okay. Chip. The park, everything's going very well. Community development, everything's going very well. I've got a quote here that I'm going to hold off until the next board meeting, so I'll give you guys time to look over it, and then we'll go from there. Nothing else to report. What is the quote on it? The Quiet Center. It's for $10,103. For what? Slide safety mat and netting panels. I haven't talked to Rosie. I don't even know if we have any other questions. That's why I just... Okay. We'll talk. Okay. It's not a life or death. We were over there this afternoon. It looked like there were just a few things that needed to be done before. Is it Friday opening day or Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Okay. How did the painting repair work? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. They're going to come back in the fall and touch it up completely and everything corrected because they had a... Supposed to have seven days to cure, and we only had five days to really get it to cure, so they're not assuming it's going to hold all summer, but at least hold. Hey, it really wasn't very, very noticeable by the time you got water in it. You probably wouldn't have noticed it, but after you could spend that much money, it would look perfect, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Questions, Jim? Thank you, Terry. Uh, SOS started work today on the North Water Tower, bringing the fiber to make it live on the side of the shed they have up there. And also, the equipment's been ordered for the new park office. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get that in. We did have a, the North Water Tower that switched. They said they had three different vendors said they had it. When they ordered it, they said, okay, we don't have it. It won't be until October. And it showed up yesterday. So, <laughs> I mean, that, your guess is as good as mine as whether stuff's coming in or not. Even the people that are selling it don't see it. Clearly, they don't have an understanding of it. Either. That's all I have. Questions of Terry? No. Uh, no. Thank you. Kelly? Our concrete crew, um, that main kind of extension we had on uh, River Road area. Oh, okay. Um, we had to go through a driveway approach, concrete driveway approach, and the guys poured that. They transitioned over to the 50 50 sidewalk we had along the um, application on 9 and Swihart um, for Steve Smith's property. Um, so they poured that today and um, had widened some uh, last week to work on. There was a section um, off the Eagle Court from the shores that. And they went up to a certain point and the rain came in like on a Friday. So they they have to do like another twenty feet of repair on that. Okay. And then that should button up the repair work in that area. And then we have some televising and cleaning still to do, roof cutting, things like that. Sorry, Kelly. Did you say Eagle Court? Yeah. In in Columbia Shores. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. For some reason, my brain went to Eagle Glen, and I was oh, like, I don't yes. think there's a no. Eagle Court in Columbia Shores <laughs> or, or an Eagle Glen. Anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So that's some things we'll be doing, and we, we have a, another little repair area on uh, that I talked about before when we got the cameras stuff. Yeah. Mm. Area. It was 
is one foot wide and that's for you. Um, we fixed the one end and now we just have like a 10 foot stretch to do it. And that'll be done with a quarter pound of creep back on that side of the front. That should be probably the thing that wants to do. Questions to come? Thank you. Mike. Uh, the guys are back there at uh, the back of Mosher's Park on that six inch main. Mm -hmm. Been rough the last couple of days and hasn't worked the way it should. Hopefully, the next two days will go better. Um, last week, they replaced 80 meters and we're on uh, track to do quite a few more this week. So. Wow. <laughs> to the uh, Automatic or the AMI? Yes, and a lot of them are the ones they've been changing are the big meters okay. in, in like the, the longer mat and uh, the dentist office and that. So uh, we might see an increase in the bigger meters uh, usage. You know. yep. Just purely because they are changed out? And yeah, and, and, and after a meter gets so old, they, they do slow down, they do not speed up. Thanks for your report. I think you had like 1.2 or 3 million gallons. Is that, is that about average for this time of year? For this time of year, yeah, that's about average. Wow. We should see it go up a little bit when people really start watering their yards, you know, and, and uh, the flowers and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I just sometimes you just don't comprehend how much water flows. <laughs> I think we're usually during the summertime, the hot time, we, we're up around 1.5. Mm -hmm. And we were just talking today, we have a capacity, a total capacity of around 3 million gallons right. that we can pump through the filters, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what we can pump every day. So we're about, give or take, halfway in the summer months. Yeah. So, the chip could use that down the park for a splash pad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even turned on the splash pad yet, so. <laughs> you know. Did they? Yes. They found. They thought there was only one about this year. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, Kay. Uh, I check on our wet testing today. We still don't have. I'm assuming that they're working on the report, and I've not heard from them, so not hearing is uh, good news. Uh, as we talked about on the CSO 19, they report the concrete. They pulled the forms today. It looks really good. Uh, I'm sure they're not going to have issues there. Keep going with that. We've got progress meeting. This Friday and it's actually supposed to be uh, substantial completion, mm -hmm. which obviously they're not going to be there because I put about 10 days behind. So we're going to have a little meeting about that and see where they can make up some time. And it might be one of the things we're going to have to do substantial and find out the same time. He's got some equipment that I talked to him today. He's got some equipment that didn't come in. It's not going to be in until uh, sometime in June, but then I also think that after talking to the engineers, it was not ordered. So mm -hmm. that's probably not helping the situation. Uh, so we'll go we'll go through all that on Friday. Uh, I'm still waiting on the uh, a quote back from Donahue on I got them some more information today as far as the SCADA upgrades on the panels. Um, I'd like to hear back from them. Rip propeller's been put back in with a brand new motor and uh, the ARV pipes on the SDI force main. Those uh, green paint and I'm putting fresh paint on. Some of them will have to be uh, three lettered, and then obviously we have them numbered so we know which one is on my plate, you know, and then they correspond with the map that we have. So, uh, nothing to report on Jefferson Mini. Which you should have. What's the mean? Where's the mic? Thank you. Yeah, I am sorry that I have so much to do. Sorry, <laughs> 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 I just get tired of hearing it. <laughs> Uh, Marcia, do you have anything? Okay, I think she said that. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so I got some bad news. That bad news is, is that we are going to reject the bids for Eagle Park. They came in a million dollars over what was expected. I said the tag. Yeah, he's got a tad, which is why I say, really. Uh, <laughs> so, so we are. So, what Chip is working on right now is is he is going to 
He's working with our engineers to value engineer this a little bit down from where it was. Uh, there were a couple things that maybe were a little more highfalutin than what we really need, let's say it that way. Um, and uh, we also think that the timing of the actual bid was at the time where most people's schedules were full. And so there was a lot of that kind of stuff. So we are going back to the drawing board on that. We're hopeful that maybe this fall into early winter, we can actually do another bidding process for this, another, um, yeah, uh, another bid process that will help us get to where, where we need to be. Um, but that means that Eagle Park is going to be built this year. Right, so if we have a land and water conservation grant of about six hundred and change thousand dollars, six oh eight, something like that, six or seven thousand. Um, and we have until two thousand twenty five to utilize that grant. So yes, we do have some time. Like I said, um, we are going back to the drawing board on a couple things and I, I will tell you we had one bidder for uh, the main part and we had one bidder for the state park portion. So we didn't have competition at all. Um, and they're both were locals that we, I mean, were were in, uh, companies that we worked with before. So I'm not saying there was anything wrong with that, but there just wasn't a whole lot of competition at the table. Um, which you know me, I, I like that competition because it sharpens pencils. And so, nevertheless, uh, those are some of the things we're going to be doing. And, and certainly, we're also going to be look, looking at if there's work that maybe we can even do in house that will help make this make the price be a lot better. Um, so, so, so. In any case, I just wanted you to be aware of that. Uh, we told Park Board last night, all one member that showed up, um, and so. Uh, but, but just so you are aware of what's happening with that. Um, so that's this is the first time in 12 years uh, that we've had to shelve a project. So. Uh, we've been creative in the past, but um, this one was a little salty for me to figure out a way to find that kind of money. So, is there anything? I mean, I know it's mm -hmm. open, no boundary, no fencing. Okay. From a safety aspect, the public still be okay. Let them run play. Yeah, I think because there was nothing that was constructed, and frankly, it's kind of in the you know, it, I mean, it's not that normal as you are well aware to see people with maybe their dogs or kids out there, whatever, which is great. I mean, it is a park space, and, and we are trying to maintain it, obviously, and all that kind of stuff, but um, it, is, uh, it is certainly disappointing to do that. Plus, keep in mind, we also have a trail project that will probably be in later this summer, and that scares the Jesus out of me, as you would imagine. So, we are uh, we're trying to be really cognizant of all of those things, but, um, but I wanted to make sure you were aware of that. Um, we are uh, down to the final three. Uh, we had, uh, for park director, we had, uh, again, 28 applicants. Eight went to first interviews. Three went to second interviews. We held second interviews with the actual staff. We tried something different this time um, so that I could kind of get some of their feedback. Also, the park board president, Keith Nicholson, sat in on that as well. We gave me his feedback. So um, we had three really good applicants. Uh, Three really good, I'm sorry, three really good candidates, uh, and so I should be making my decision here, hopefully by the end of the week. So, um, downtown plan, Chip. Downtown plan is planning is starting. We have our yes. first meeting coming up here in the next couple of weeks, I believe. Yes, and. Um, Put together kind of a steering committee, trying to get different you know, people from different organizations, obviously people from you know, different backgrounds and businesses and all that kind of stuff. So we have a good group. Um, excited to get that process done. So I think that's all I got for right now. Uh, well, Nicole, from the audience. Okay, we'll call the meeting adjourned. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting